Nation Point. Uh, we heard from the Chief Operating Officer of Operation Warp Speed on Saturday, who said that uh, they expect 145 sites across all states to receive that va vaccine on Monday. What kind of preparations at hospitals are being made, have been made in terms of who is first in line to get the vaccinations? Because not every single employee or worker at the hospitals will be able to, to receive a vaccination. That's right, Emma. There, there are two, two, two pieces here. Number one, uh, you need to have the logistics ready to be able to get the vaccine and deploy it as soon as you possibly can. So uh, making sure folks are trained on uh, vaccinating, knowing exactly where people are gonna go uh, to get vaccinated in your hospital. Um, but also it is who you are vaccinating. Of course, you wanna be vaccinating folks who are at the greatest risk uh, of contracting the virus. That means people who are working uh, in ICUs where they're caring for COVID-19 patients, people who are uh, working in general medical floors, considering the fact that right now uh, there is so much COVID in our hospitals. Uh, and then of course, getting out to primary care physicians who uh, may be at the tip of the spear because oftentimes people will come in uh, before their symptoms are serious, but when they're the most infectious, uh, they're coming into the primary care, primary care doctor. So you really wanna get this out to people who are at the highest risk of contracting the virus because they are interacting with patients uh, with COVID-19 every day. Uh, Dr. El Sayed, there still is, as we're watching the logistics inside this uh, facility, uh, the Pfizer facility, there's still the CDC element uh, that we're waiting for. Of course, the advisory committee uh, uh, met, um, and we're waiting for the guidance to come from the CDC and Dr. Redfield, who, who heads that group. Tell us what's happening there, that element of this uh, beginning of the vaccination program. Well, uh, stepping all the way back, right, we want a vaccine that is safe and effective. And that means we want everybody to uh, go through and go through again all of the protocols to make sure that everyone is on exactly the same page. There's a process that we use that includes the FDA and the CDC that looks at the safety and efficacy of the virus on the FDA side. Uh, and then looks at the deployment strategy on the CDC side. Uh, I'm sure the folks at the CDC are just uh, dotting the I's and crossing the T's uh, before uh, Director Redfield signs off uh, and that we are now able to put this uh, vaccine uh, into people's arms and turn them into vaccinations. And so, you know, we want a process that works um, and this is part of the process. And so uh, nobody wants to rush this. And, um, and I think it's a good thing and all of us should rest a little bit easier that we know that this process is followed to the T uh, uh, as vaccines are starting to roll out. It, it's, it's fascinating uh, to see, you know, all of this activity inside Pfizer's manufacturing facility. I think it's the largest uh, facility they have in, in the country. And Dr. Syed, I just want us to take a step back because this is a, an historic uh, moment, a, an unprecedented rollout that we are witnessing on a scale that we've never seen before. I mean, did you ever think that we would be talking about uh, distributing COVID-19 vaccines uh, nine months into this pandemic. Okay. I mean, it really is uh, historic, and I just want to say how <laughs> of a medical marvel this is. I mean, yes. as a kid who came up studying science, uh, learning about all the old vaccine processes, oh, yeah. knowing all of the work that goes into both designing a vaccine, Amazing. making sure it's safe, Namaste. it out there. The fact that we've done this in nine months uh, from a virus we did not know could even infect human beings, did not know was out there. Yep. Um, it really is a medical marvel, and this is the beginning of the end. People should have a lot of hope uh, in this moment. It really is exciting. Namaste. Let's expand the conversation now. You just saw some applause there inside the Woo! facility. Uh, well timed for the comments from Dr. Uh, El Syed. Uh, I believe we have uh, CNN health reporter uh, Jacqueline Howard with 